Now, as promised, a group of school children have been boldly going where no man has gone before as part of a project to get more youngsters interested in science. The event at Invicta Grammar School included a space flight simulator, a planetarium and a rocket launch. And for the girls, there was an extra challenge. They had to work with an alien life form. The boys from Maidstone Grammar. Holly Lewis reports. <laughs> Maidstone, the final frontier, and 412 and 13 year olds are being introduced to basic astrophysics. There's a vicious circle in science in the UK. Take up is low in school, so university courses have closed down, so there's a shortage of good teachers, so kids don't want to study it at school. The Space Camp project is designed to reverse the trend. It was designed by a teacher from Invicta Grammar. It's an initiative to get the students doing fun activities and uh, getting them engaged with science, actually doing scientific uh, practical without them even realising it just because they're having so much fun with it. These grammar school pupils are no space cadets, but they like the lively approach. It's been really fun and um, the chucking the eggs out the window has been the best. And um, do you usually like science? Uh, no, not really. My favourite part is probably the flight school, where you build paper aeroplanes. So you fly the furthest and then you win. That is the highlight of the day, a trip in a space simulator. I know this is all about science being fun, but as far as I'm concerned, it's a basic law of nature that I wasn't made to be thrown around in a human cocktail shaker. really cool. I liked it. It was fun. Yeah. <laughs> Apart from all the girls screaming. <laughs> After all that excitement, even a real live rocket launch seemed a bit tame. But it all goes to prove there's so much more to science than Bunsen burners and balancing equations. Holly Lewis in Maidstone for Meridian Tonight.